In this video I will show you how to create a SWOT table that is quite detailed very very quickly. Um, you can do this by downloading the template that is available at this site here uh, ideasforswat.com. It's a free template for download. When you open it, it opens in Excel and it looks like this and this is just a simple instruction page where it says hey follow the arrows, strengths weaknesses and just go across. So we'll just do this very quickly. Uh, we go to strengths and we've got a whole bunch, about 150 strengths under different headings, capability, financial, culture, customer, product, etc. So what you go through initially is you can pick as many as you like and say okay let, let's shortlist our strengths to include and we just change the no to yes. So without giving this much consideration, I'm just showing you how it works. We'll pick a couple of capabilities ones there. Oh yeah, that's a financial one that's relevant for us. Uh, culture one. So you just go through, it'll take you a while, but once you get familiar with them, it's pretty straightforward. And you just keep picking the ones that appear to be uh, relevant to your business that you're looking at. Okay, so I'll just pick a whole bunch of them. Okay, and then we just simply repeat the same thing for weaknesses. We've got, again, a long list. Uh, the, the major headings tend to be somewhat similar. These uh, obviously vary. Um, we could have almost the same thing. A strength can be, for one company, can be a weakness for other. Um, and the wording's different, so, you know, poor service levels. Again, I'll just pick a couple of these to show you what we're doing. We're going all the way down here, marketing based now, and brand based. Obviously, you would spend time picking it. I'm, I'm just showing you how the how the um, template works. And then you do the same thing for opportunities. Again, these have a uh, a different wording, etc. So I'm just going to pick two here uh, for the sake of the example. And then finally, uh, threats. And again, structure is identical. Um, and I'll just pick a couple here to get a sense of what we're doing. Okay, so I've picked them. Obviously, you'd work through each of those four. And then we come to the next tab, which is fine tune this one. And it tells me um, I should do up to about 20 items if I want to. Now, I've capped this spreadsheet at 20. The reason is if you start getting more than 20 strengths, weaknesses, etc., you're not really looking at them critically. You just have a long list. So um, 20 is probably as far as you want to go. So what it does, it just picks up the ones we've selected already. <coughs> the numbers initially selected, I've selected those nine by chance. And if I come across, I've selected five weaknesses, two opportunities, and three uh, threats. You can select a lot more. You can select more than 20 for this. This just becomes your shortlist. And then we go, okay, what order do I want them to appear in the SWAT? And I'll just again do this randomly. Um, so basically you just put them in some sort of order that in sequence that you want them to appear. Now obviously, oops, sorry, obviously if you have a a longer list here. You say you ticked initially 40 or 50 items, um, and you might lose your place with numbering. If you accidentally put the same number in, you can see I've got two sevens. It highlights, hey, hang on, you've got two sevens. So basically, it's only going to pick up the first one. So it's just a warning flag that okay, I've got a seven already. That needs to be an eight. And if I suddenly decide that uh, look, I don't want this one. Um, basically you just don't number it. So I'll just take out the bottom one here. Okay, so clear value proposition. I initially picked nine, there's nine there, but only eight are going forward to the final SWAT. Okay, and basically you do the same. I'm just going to use a random numbering system here uh, just to show you how, how it works. I'll put this in just one and two. And then through our threats that we picked, 
I just put one, three, and two. Okay, so I've done that, and basically I moved to my final slot, and it's already completed for me. So high quality staff, if I go back here, high quality staff was my number one. Efficient logistics uh, was my number two. So it's all sequenced for us. We, we um, just put in whatever the name of the brand is or whatever company we're looking at, and it's all set to go for you. Okay, so this is available to be copied and pasted wherever you need it. Obviously, you could have a lot more items here. Or if you want to just fine-tune some of the words, you can just copy it, come over here to a SWOT edit, and basically go to paste and just paste the values. And on this page, um, I can just reword whatever I like. Okay. So this is your editing page. So once that's available, you can copy and paste, etc. If if you feel you've missed something, I'll look at my SWAT here. This is my final SWAT. I've only got two opportunities. I need to pick another opportunity. You click on the opportunities and go, oh, gee, um, that's probably a worthwhile one including. You come back here to our um, <coughs> shortlist and we come across and we can see uh, it has automatically appeared. It hasn't appeared on our final SWAT yet because I haven't numbered it. So I'm going to make that number one. Oh, I've got two ones. I'm going to make that three instead. And my SWAT is then um, updated again. So basically that's it. There's well over 500 things to choose from. All very easy to follow. More detail is on this particular website. And that's where you can get the download.